What's up, home bartenders? Let's make three awesome tequila cocktails for Cinco de Mayo that are not your standard margarita or even Paloma. Those are great, obviously, but why not try something a little different and don't these look awesome? If you're finding me for the first time, I make home bartending a lot easier with homemade liqueurs, syrups, and awesome cocktails. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell so that YouTube lets you know when we've got new videos up. All right, let's get to it. Okay, our first one here is the Corpse Reviver number four. Yeah, there's four of these guys. All right, starting with an ounce of Reposado tequila. I'm using Espelone today for uh, my tequilas. Love Espelone. Uh, three quarter ounce of Lillet Blanc. You can also use any aromatized wine, so don't feel you have to use that one. After that, half ounce of Cointreau. Uh, again, feel free to use a triple sec. And then we want some lemon juice, three quarter ounce of lemon juice. That's gonna be it for the base of the drink. We're going to give it some ice, give it a quick shaky shake. Serving this guy in a Nick and Nora, but we want to give it an absinthe rinse. I've got an atomizer here, but if you don't have one, just a little bit of absinthe, swirl it around and then dump. All right, and then um, get your drink in there. We're double straining and garnishing with a nice lemon peel. The Corpse Reviver number four. I've had the Corpse Reviver number two many times. Love that one, that one's with gin. The number one I believe is with uh, cognac or brandy. I think I've made it once or twice, but not that often. And I don't even know what number three is. <laughs> Let's try number four. That's really nice. Funny enough, the absinthe is not as present as it is with the gin. I think I'm just maybe used to gin drinks with absinthe, whereas absinthe and tequila, um, not something I've mixed very often, and I find the tequila being a little stronger than gin is actually kind of masking the uh, the absinthe. I would probably spritz it a bit more because it's not, I pick it up, it's not a bad thing. I just want a little more of it. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's move on. For our next one here, this is called the Siesta. All right, we're gonna start once again with our Espelone Reposado tequila. We want an ounce and a half this time. Follow that up with some Campari, half an ounce. You could totally use Aperol or another uh, red bitter liqueur that, you know, maybe something not quite as bitter as Campari, but I like Campari. After that, half an ounce of lime juice. We also want more citrus, half an ounce of grapefruit juice, freshly squeezed. And then we're gonna do half an ounce of simple syrup. That's just one to one, sugar and water. And that's it for this drink. Give it some ice, shaky shake. All right, no fancy glass, just a rocks glass. We're gonna do a simple dump and garnish with a lemon wheel. The siesta. This one, just from the aroma, as I was making it, just feels like a, a margarita with a hint of, maybe a Paloma because it's got the grapefruit, with a hint of bitterness from the Campari. Oh wow. Mm. Very grapefruit forward, that bitterness of the Campari, actually playing down the tequila quite a bit. Even though there's an ounce and a half in here, twice as much as the last drink, the other ingredients are really pushing that tequila down. Not necessarily in a bad way, um, but that little half ounce of Campari is really um, coming forward. It's very light and refreshing, even though it's ounce and a half of tequila. That Campari flavor is coming through, but it's not like super bitter, because we did have some simple syrup in here. If Campari is too bitter, definitely Aperol will work just as well. Uh, this is also very good, very refreshing. Well, let's move on. Bringing tequila to tiki, this is I Love Lamp. I love lamp. I love lamp. <laughs> All right, starting with an ounce of our Reposado tequila. We then want an ounce of Demerara rum. Follow that up with three quarter ounce of banana liqueur. I make my own, so check out that recipe. Make a lot of liqueurs here on the channel, so make sure you're subscribed. Three quarter ounce of our banana liqueur. After that, we want an ounce of pineapple juice. We want a little bit of citrus, three quarter ounce of lime juice. Quarter ounce of agave syrup. I told you, this is like a tiki drink. It's got a whole lot of ingredients. It's tequila tiki. 
half a quarter ounce of agave, finished up with some tiki bitters, four dashes of Ella Makule tiki bitters. Use an Angostura if you don't have these. Ice, tin, shake it up. You could use crushed ice here if you wanted. Uh, I'm gonna serve this in my awesome tiki face mug. Love that one. And garnish up. I love lamp. <laughs> I love lamp. I love lamp. Um, <laughs> And I love this glass too. This is one of my favorite tiki glasses. So always, you know, you're looking for an excuse to use it. Hmm. Very good. Very tiki-esque. The tequila's kind of getting buried. I mean, if you really want, if you want looking for just a good drink, it's a great drink. But if you're looking to really taste the tequila, maybe not that one. The pineapple is definitely front and center. I'm getting notes of banana. I'm getting the rum. Tequila is there, but it's it's very um, it's very low. I almost would want to do an ounce and a half of tequila so that tequila really punches through, and then just a half ounce of rum, and maybe maybe use Smith and Cross instead of a Demerara. Oh, that is still really good though. I like the banana and the pineapple. There's, I mean, this one's more fruit forward and less about the spirits, but it's still a fantastic drink. All right, well, if I had to rate these ones, which I will, uh, number one, gonna give it to the Corpse Reviver. And number four, um, that is just a really well-balanced cocktail. I uh, love the Corp, Corp Revised, Corp, Reviver number two, and this one with tequila might actually, I might actually prefer it. In second place, oh my God, this is tough because I really like both of these. However, this episode is about tequila, so if I want to really focus on tequila, I'm gonna give number two to the Siesta. Um, it's kind of just a really good, kind of halfway between a margarita and a Paloma, and a little more bitter because you've got that Campari in there, but uh, extremely refreshing. I could definitely see myself drinking that on a hot summer day. And in last place, but by no means is this a bad drink, the I Love Lamp. I was really expecting that one to be up front because I love the ingredients in there. But um, because yeah, I, I, like, I like drinks that are spirit forward. And this one here is a little more fruit forward, but that might be what you want. So if that's what you guys are looking for, then definitely give this one a try. If this wasn't enough for you and you want more tequila cocktails, check out my Cinco de Mayo playlist from past videos. How about a guava paloma? That one was fantastic. Or a matador with green chartreuse. That one is really good. You can also check out my margarita playlist where I do a lot of fun experiments with margaritas. We will catch you in the next one. Go grab yourself a bottle of tequila. Happy Cinco de Mayo.